We're learning in Levi Yoma, Parash Giseitse, what the Rebbe Zatzal spoke about in the year 5764. On the night of Shabbos Kodesh, he said, in Kedusha we find, the Yaakov Oima, the Yaakov said, ain't no call mitzvah mitzvah, there's no mitzvah that where it says, you leman yarich in your mech, or you get a reward, that you have Tchis HaMesim is involved with it. But Kibbut Avid says, Laman Yim Yomechem Yomecho Laman Yitavloch. Shkola Arkanik says, it says, Laman Yitavloch Varach to Yomim. So, uh, if his father told him to go up to the palace and bring me birds, and he went and he sent the Me'em, he took the Bonim. When he came down, Elena, he fell and died. Where is the length of years of this person? But it means, for the world which is totally good. You should have ex extended years in that world. Maybe that's not the case. Rabbi Yagiv says, I saw, meaning maybe it never happens. Yagiv saw an action that happened. At the end of the Gemara, it's brought down if Acher, who, who, who became Apicurus, would have learned the Posig like Rabbi Yaakov Barate, he would not have sinned. Why? Where do we find Rabbi Acher? He, some say, by Acher, where do we see this? Some say he saw this situation happen. And that's what caused him to say, we're, if, if he's doing a mitzvah, how could he die? So we have to understand that Acher, before he became an Akbikoyos, was one of the greatest men of Kal Yisrael. He was the Rebbe of Armeya, which Armeya is called Acherim. He didn't know the Storosha, that it means to the world to come, but the explanation is there's a person. There are things that a person receives with thought when he doesn't have to actually go through that. That thought, theoretic things, one can accept. But when it happens to an actual occurrence, then people begin to think, why did it happen to a good person? Why should it happen to me? And he can't think in that same way that he did prior to the occurrence. Therefore, when Achaz saw the child fall from the ladder, when he did two mitzvahs, he listened to his father to get the bird, and he sent away the, the mother and took the eggs. It was hard for him to accept the limbut, even though he was, theoretically, <coughs> he understood it. So it is with people. You can't ask people that they should have the same thoughts and amuna when things happen to them differently than yourself yourself you can understand it theoretically they have to go through it in action in Europe we see this, we saw that that for many Jews there were terrible circumstances terrible agonies they saw terrible things happening and after the show of the destruction there were many who fell, and they couldn't keep their belief. Why? Because their belief wasn't as strong as, they were, as it should have been. They had to live with the actual facts that took place, and therefore, they thought everything else remained. When it happened, it was more difficult. That's why it says, if... Ache would have learned the Pirush Dor Sheva. It doesn't mean that he learned it differently, but this is the period, But he didn't learn it. He would know for sure the total aspect of proof of Emuno that you have to accept that which happens. But you know things that are tied to very difficult things, they have difficult circumstances. And for that person, 
he has to be able to ask to believe in difficult times. And that was something that was the Poshut by Acha that it doesn't mean this world. So sometimes in order to accept what happens, one has to really know and comprehend what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants of us in this world. When things happen that we don't want, we should appreciate that it's entirely for our good so that we'll have the world to come. That's what learning in Hillel's Tshuva, especially before Rosh Hashanah. And that way, we will understand that even if you went through a difficult year, many Jews went through difficult economic times. There were many people who suffered in the year. May it be Hashem's will that we should see in the new year. We shouldn't have to utilize our full amunah. We should be able to rely on the goodness of Hashem so that our amuna, even if it's not complete, will help keep us on the proper track. Serve Hashem. Amen.